Honestly then, do you guys illegally download yourselves from time to time? I've done it in the past, yeah. Mm. Yeah, when I was younger. Yeah, so because it was just... The appeal. I, I was uh, one of the original Napster uh, alt people that, that was on the, uh, the, the, the servers uh, years ago when it took you sometimes a day to download one track on your 56k modem, oh, you know. The dialogue. Oh, yeah. you know. <laughs> yeah. um, but now, no, I, I personally don't, um, because, say, so you've got some great services, like we mentioned, Spotify, Mflow, and, mm. and what have you, Last FM. Yeah, you, 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 you can get it and, and get a lot, you know, so you can have it yeah. yourself. Yeah, definitely. I used to, like, when it, when it first came out, to get, like, the really obscure stuff, like the, the stuff that wasn't in print anymore, and I physically couldn't buy it anywhere. Yeah. Like, you know, early prong releases or, or like Bad Brains that I want to buy, I want to give the band money because, like, these are the bands that need the money because they're awesome. And I just couldn't find it anywhere. Like, you know, early, like, you know, Big Black or Rape Man or, or you know, some shellac stuff that I couldn't get here on import. So, you know, and I actually apologized to Steve Albini. I said, like, dude, I feel like a dick. I've downloaded, you know, he's like, yeah, and I explained to him I just couldn't get it here. He's like, "Well, it's a record label, yeah, not the record. The record store's fault that they didn't, you know, get off their ass yeah, yeah. and and bring it for you, you yeah. know. Yeah, and you know they're trying to hike up the price on something that he's trying to keep the price down. And if, if you want to talk about integrity, try and check out anything that's, r that's written by Steve Albini. That dude, you know, is walking, talking, yeah. sleeping, breathing integrity. That guy rocks. Yeah. <laughs> Great producer as well, actually. Mm. Yeah. Yes. And uh, John, are you going to be continuing doing work in the music industry then after your whole hits machine? Um, well, yeah. I mean, I, I kind of, uh, I've ended up in the PR industry at the moment. Right. Um, now, after the Rage Kids Machine thing happened, um, I got involved with the BBC Six Music mm. uh, campaign. We, we, me and my wife started the campaign because we found out that they were going to be closing down, which yeah. I think is it's one of the great. Now, yep, yeah, it has now. Yeah. Um, one of the greatest radio stations we've got, really. Mm. That, that, that sh again, shows good music and, and plays some decent things. Um, so I got involved with that. With that, that's done very well. Um, I don't know, really. Yeah, I mean, I've ended up in the PR industry, but um, yeah, I mean, I love my music, so yeah. I've always just gone with the flow and and and. Uh, you know what I do next. Who knows yeah, what I'm going to end up doing? Do you think there'll be any more campaigns in the future? Possibly, but not. Uh, I won't be doing any chart campaigns mm. because I don't see how uh, I can really top getting one no. of my favourite bands to number one at Christmas yeah. <laughs> and, and beating uh, this 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 behemoth TV show. Yeah. You, you can only go down from there, so no, no, I've got no intentions to do it. And also, when, when uh, myself and Ravi were having a look uh, just after Christmas, we found 800 campaigns for the Christmas number one 2010. That's when we stopped counting, so we thought, well, yeah. you know what? Or, you know, was it, you know, like the rotted or something? Like, you know, <laughs> yeah, like exactly. Death mail getting so, in. I don't know, I, 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 me and Trace will probably end up on these, like, uh, list shows at Christmas, like, uh, for the next 20 years or something, you know. <laughs> <laughs> well, guys, uh, I want to thank you for having a uh, chat with me today. Ravi, good luck with the uh, documentary. I uh, can't wait to get that released. And, uh, John, uh, good luck in the future. Thank you. Oh, thank well, you. thank you ever so much. And, and stuff like what you're doing and stuff like what people are doing on the grassroots, mm. helping promote music, that's that's where, you know, Dude Where's My Music, that's where it is, you know. Yeah. Magazines like Metal Hammer, you know, Metal Hammer still has their mainstream magazine that still has integrity, and those guys is bloody awesome. Yeah, you know, yeah. you know, just just keep you know supporting what you like, and you know, and have young people just if you like something, buy it, buy a T-shirt, support your music because yeah. otherwise it won't be there. Exactly. Buy the good shit. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> here, here, buy the good shit. <laughs> <laughs>